You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. Hi, everybody. Welcome uh, to this uh, State of the Show show here on Addressing Gettysburg. Uh, It's February 2022, and um, a lot has happened. A lot has not happened that needs to happen uh, in the last few months. Um, and so I just want to keep you up to date because there's going to be a little bit of a, a minor change uh, for the month of February and um, probably for about maybe half of March. Um, basically, uh, Eric and I have had uh, a, some a lot of uh, uh, life things that we've had to deal with, like you know, personal things that we've had to deal with individually. Um, which has uh, hampered our ability to uh, keep up with uh, 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 scheduling uh, recordings, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, So uh, right now, the last Ask a Guide that came out was uh, the the last one that we had in the can. Um, And uh, one position I never wanted us to be in here with addressing Gettysburg is um, a hand to mouth position where you record a show and immediately it has to go out in order to keep up with the schedule. Um, uh, You know, ask a guides are tough because we have not only our availability to deal with, which is pretty available, like we keep ourselves open. Um, to be able to record when a guest is available. Uh, but we also have to deal with the guest availabilities. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have their own lives, believe it or not, uh, that uh, <laughs> that are more important than coming on our show. And so we don't always have uh, guests available when we need them to be. And this is just one of those times. Uh, we do have people who are slated to come on, um, but they're not able to record or haven't been able to record until February or March or something like that. And that that kind of puts us behind a little bit. So um, there's that that's going on. Also, what's going on for me is that I uh, need to write the narrative episode or the script for the narrative episode for July 1st of 1863, the first day of the battle, which has become a little more daunting than I had anticipated. I started writing it back in March of last year um, and hit a bit of writer's block. And then the season was upon us and um, my time just got swallowed up. And when my time gets swallowed up, my energy uh, it also gets swallowed up because uh, I'm in my uh, 40s and uh, suddenly, uh, you know, I can't do all the things I used to do the way I used to do them. And it's really, really, really goddamn annoying. So um, I, I need to get on that because when the season starts again this year, I will not have time again. And I really need to buckle down on that. And frankly, the amount of... Um, Stuff that we're doing as far as having to record the uh, the lectures and all of that stuff, um, it, it's just an added thing uh, at, at, during a time that I had been anticipating having less things to do or fewer things to do uh, so that it would enable me to record, I'm sorry, to write uh, that script. <sighs> just in case you don't get it, um, I'm the host of the show. Um, I set the course for the show, where we're going, all of that stuff. Um, most of the ideas that we do, I come up with. Uh, all of the editing and post-production stuff, everything that you see and hear, um, I do. None of those things take two minutes to do. All of those things take many, many minutes and hours even uh, to do. And um, the, the creative energy in... It just gets my creative energy gets sapped when I have to edit because it's tedious, it's boring, it's annoying that I'm still doing it and I can't find an editor and uh, all that stuff. So uh, by the time I'm done with that, I, I the last thing I want to be doing is is uh, well, it's not that I want to. It's it's just the last thing that I'm able to do is create something else. So I thought to myself, well, I'm, I'm getting to the point where we're, we're, we've grown to, to, uh, to become a, uh, a production that is big enough where we need extra hands. 
However, it's not big enough where we can afford to hire extra hands. And since I don't have anybody in mind to do these different things, I don't know many people that that can do these things and take them off of my uh, shoulders. Um, I have no one to turn to to say, hey, you know, would you do this? Um, and, and I don't really feel comfortable doing that either. Uh, but the fact remains, we need volunteers to help with various aspects of the show. Um, and uh, I guess I'm, I'm putting out a call by saying that. Uh, I'm not expecting and much of a response. I know I'll probably get some emails saying, you know, well, anything I can do, you know, I, I don't know how to do anything you need, but anything I can do, I'll help you with. And I appreciate that. But what we really need, I think the first thing that we would need uh, that would be a huge help is someone who uh, knows how to uh, edit audio. Um, it's not as hard as video or it's not as involved as video, I should say. Um, and if you have a fundamental understanding of it, I can teach you the rest. But uh, I again, I don't expect that. And so because I don't expect that and because I have to um, keep myself interested in doing this and not begin to hate it and want to walk away from it, um, I, I this is what I've decided is going to happen. Through the month of February on the free feed, uh, you are going to get two National Park Service lectures and Tim Smith's lecture every week. That's three uploads a week. Um, there will be no new Ask a Guides through the month of February and half of March because we will be recording new Ask a Guides. And I want to have um, a cushion of episodes because, <clears throat> excuse me, when the tourist season starts, uh, guides and myself included are going to have less time or, or more um, limited time, I should say, uh, as to when we can record and all of that stuff. So um, that is where uh, just the nature of things is going to uh, prohibit us from being able to put things out in a timely manner unless we have a backlog to uh, to bounce back into once in a while. So that's what we'll be recording uh, over this month. Also, we have a live show at the end of February. We've never done a live show. And um, I, I, I mean, I've not not with the dress in Gettysburg. So I, I've been part uh, a part of uh, live productions my whole life. And uh, we know how they, they should go. I know how they should go. And I know what to do. And of course, I don't like to do anything uh, simple. I always like to complicate things because I really want people to be entertained. And I really want people to come away from something we do and say, well, these guys know what they're doing. And um, I think so far we've proven that uh, that is the reaction that we get from many of our listeners. And so uh, that has a lot of moving parts because it's going to be in front of an audience. And I like to record live, uh, meaning I like to record it where it's not being broadcast live, but I like to record it as if it is. I think uh, you get a better energy that way. And also when people mess up and you leave it in, it makes it more entertaining for the listener. Um, the Dean Martin show used to run that way. They would record them, but they, they would leave the mess ups in so that you thought you were watching a live broadcast. And I think there's a charm to that. So um, being that we've never done a uh, live show before, um, and we are going to need help for that. So if anybody's interested in helping, um, you've got to be able to get to Gettysburg. Uh, but uh, please let us know. Uh, so yeah, so we've got to uh, we've got to do uh, some some preparations for that and things like that. And and mentally, it'll just be easier for me if I don't have to worry about recording and editing new Ask a Guides um, uh, and getting them out in February. So that's uh, the other thing. Patreon. If you're a patron, uh, you will still be getting uh, new episodes. And the reason for this is simple: you pay. And I feel that you are my job. You are my bosses. And um, uh, what uh, you, you need to get something for the money that you give every month. Now, I know I hear this from a lot of you that you don't care about that. 
you are doing it because you like what we do and you want to support it. And I understand that and I appreciate that. But I guarantee you for every 10 of you out there, there's, uh, you know, maybe two people that are like, well, no, I'm paying uh, five dollars a month. I'm paying twenty five dollars a month, whatever it is. And I demand that I get what I told I've been told I'm going to get. And rightfully so. And so um, I'm we're still going to put something out each week on uh, Patreon for you. So don't you guys worry. So it's just the people on the free feed. Um, you're just going to have a temporary uh, uh, lull as far as new Ask a Guides go. But uh, we've got a big long list of topics that uh, were submitted by our listeners over time. And we are working to chip away at that list and get people uh, recording uh, on those topics. So that is all of that. Let me just look at my notes here and make sure that uh, everything is okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's about it. Um, I hope your winter is treating your treating you well. I hope it's not too cold and snowy wherever you may be. Um, and if you're on the bottom half of the world, uh, I hope your summer is going well. I'm talking to you uh, people down there in Australia. I almost tried to do an Australian accent, but I can't do an Australian accent. Somebody told me once that um, if you uh, want to do an Australian accent, uh, take the word the words razor blades. Uh, you would uh, if you wanted to say razor blades in an Australian accent, you would actually say the words rise up lights. So would you hand me those rise up lights? Okay, I, I kind of hear it there. Oh, we'll see. But anyway, I'm not going to do it now, even though I just did. So anyway, that's it. That's the state of the show for now. Uh, big. Uh, actually, you know what? Sorry. Before I end it, there's another thing, a very big thing. And and I'm not uh, going to disclose what it is just yet, because I know there are people out there who are known for stealing other creators' ideas um, and then doing them himself, always um, not as well. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it's an idea that uh, it has always been part of the overall long-term plan for addressing Gettysburg. And I feel like we're probably a year away from it being realized um, but before it's realized, we need to get the team in place. And so let me just say this to you out there. If you have a podcast of your own, or if you have an idea for a podcast that you'd like to do, but you don't know how to get started, you don't want to spend the money to get the equipment, you don't want to learn how to use the equipment or whatever the case may be, um, you should contact us. Uh, we're, we're working on something that you're going to need to be a part of, or we, we're going to need you to be a part of, and, and w- that we think will help everybody involved. Um, a rising tide lifts all ships, if you will. And uh, we feel our tide has been rising quite steadily, and uh, we know that there are other ships out there in our orbit, and we'd like to help them uh, rise as we rise so that we all can rise some more. Um That's as much as I'm going to say on that for now. Just because I'm thinking it's a year away doesn't mean we don't need to start getting you all together now. So Matt, M-A-T-T, at AddressingGettysburg.com if you want to uh, perhaps uh, be a part of this. Like I said, if you have a show already or you want to have a show uh, and it has something to do with either history or Gettysburg, the town. Uh, not historically per se. It could be about what's going on in the town today, like we do on on our show AG Today, whatever. Um, or maybe something else that just could be beneficial to an audience. You probably are figuring out what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to get into the details. Uh, so anyway, my point is uh, get in touch with us. If any of these things are things that you heard and said, hmm, maybe I could do that or maybe whatever. Okay. Now I wish you all the best. I thank you kindly for your listens. By the way, January was our highest download month ever. Um, I, it, it to, I mean, you know, compared to like Joe Rogan or somebody like that, 
it's it's tiddly wings compared to everybody else in our in our little uh, circle and compared to my personal experience uh, doing podcasts it's these are astronomical numbers so i really thank you all i really appreciate it um, this is a lot of work it's not what i would call hard work it's just a lot of <sighs> mind numbing work Along with fun work. I mean, I, I can't deny, I, I love this. But, uh, um, yeah, it's it's a lot. And so your your kind words, your uh, patronage over on patreon.com slash addressing Gettysburg, your gifts that you send, your offers to take us out to dinner or a beer when you come to town. Um, I don't know if there is a word to express the amount of gratitude that I feel. I do feel almost personally indebted to each and every one of you. And that's, of course, an impossibility. Um, but that is how my heart feels. And uh, you really are great people. And you really will never know how much you have contributed to me finally being happy with my life. And uh, that was a long, hard slog to get to that place. And I'm not completely happy, of course, because there's that's that's a me thing, not a you thing. But you help a tremendous amount. So thank you all very much. God love you because I do. And we'll talk to you next time.